The village of Hilgal in the eastern Afghan province of Kunar was once filled with joyful chairs of children. But now it's nothing more than a graveyard after being bombed by U.S. air raids. The raids have left trails of blood behind. The U.S. forces also attacked the village from the ground. When we arrived here, people were crying out for their loved ones killed. They were still collecting body parts for burial. However, many bodies were completely destroyed. NATO has disputed the accusation, saying they targeted and killed only militants, but have agreed to probe the claims. But if you visit this village, you can get a clear picture that many of the people who died here were children and women. Look at this brutality. They killed innocent children and women from this village. The village was under the U.S. attack for four days. People here say they were asleep when they came under fire. The villagers came out of their houses and hid themselves in caves to avoid the attacks. But most of them were not lucky. These men told us that ten children and five women were shot dead in one cave alone. The latest traits of the U.S. forces have sparked a great panic among the residents of this village. Right after the raids, many of the villagers here have fled to other provinces in fear of future air strikes on their village. And those who are still here, they are now living in constant fear of losing their lives. The people of this quiet village had never seen this many civilian deaths before. To them, it's now too difficult to accept that foreign troops are here to protect them. They say they cannot tolerate the presence of the Americans anymore. The foreign troops are here to kill us. They killed our brothers, sisters and children. Therefore, we don't want them here anymore. President Karzai has also been shocked by the deaths. He has strongly condemned the U.S. raids. The president has ordered an investigation into the deaths. Fazlullah Wahidi, the governor of Kunar province, has put the overall number of civilians killed by the U.S. forces at 64. Our people here are always being threatened, so it is now up to them the way they react, but they will continue to suffer for sure if they do not respond immediately. So it was the worst attack on Afghans so far this year, but what has happened in Hilgal village is a common story in the 10-year U.S.-led war against the Taliban in Afghanistan. Fais Khurshid, Press TV, Kunar.